Hi, y'all! We're finally getting the third installment of The Culinary Crucible. This one's subtitled The Beaning of Life. <laughs> I'm accepting no notes. I love this. If this isn't your first rodeo, feel free to skip to whatever sections you want. I'm going to go over everything for newer players, so check out the timestamps in the description if you're only here for a few things. There will be two new cards added to the game with this event, SR Jade and SR Lilia. Both of them are time limited, so you can only get them from this event. However, you have a couple of options of how to get them. One way is by playing the gotcha, and in the very best case scenario, you get both of them in one ten pull, but if you only want one, you don't have to play the gotcha. The event shop in this event has a special item that can be exchanged for an event SR. However, you can only buy one of these, so you can only get one SR free without playing the gotcha. I'll talk about numbers later in the event shop portion of this video. SR Lilia is a defense fire water unit. He has buddy bonuses with Jade and Apple. Jade is a balanced water void unit. His buddy bonuses are with Rook and Lilia. This event revolves around cooking, and in order to cook things, you need ingredients. Players will gather ingredients by sending a group of students to various locations on campus. This involves making a team, choosing a location, and choosing a time to wait. The longer the time, the more ingredients you get. If you use either Culinary Crucible Jade or Lilia specifically in this gathering part, you will get bonus ingredients. The gathering period can be 20 minutes, 60 minutes, 150 minutes, or 360 minutes, and you can only send students to get ingredients at one place at one time. I generally do 60 minutes through the whole day logging in and out, and then when I go to bed I do the 360 one. You'll need beans for every one of these dishes, so make sure you get a lot of them. That's the one I usually do overnight. Ingredient drops are randomized, so it's very possible you'll spend a lot of time at one location and then not get what you need. Different locations have different ingredients, and some are also locked until you earn a certain amount of points by cooking items. There's a total of nine dishes for you to make. When you first start the event, the game will give you some trial ingredients and one recipe. I don't remember which one it is for this event, unfortunately. However, after you make that one dish, you're on your own. If you fail to make a dish correctly, you'll get a bad score and you will not regain the ingredients used in that dish. It's the literal worst, so I really recommend you get the recipes before the event. But if you want to be completely spoiler free, I respect that, and you can skip ahead to the next section if you don't want to hear the recipes. As per usual, these dates have a fan translated and the names will probably be different in the official localization. Tofu hamburg steak, beans, meat, onion, egg, flour, fried pea sprouts with garlic, beans, bacon, and garlic, uh, the soup dish, or Winton soap, I don't know how to pronounce it, beans, onion, potato, and meat, minestrone, beans, onion, potato, tomato, and bacon. Baked beans, my detested. Beans, tomato, sugar. Creamy pasta with bean sprouts. Beans, bacon, milk, and pasta. Hummus, beans and garlic. Bitter gourd champaru. Beans, gourd, meat, and egg. Chili con carne, beans, onion, tomato, meat, and spice. When you first start making dishes, it's going to be garbage. Your skill level for each dish starts at 0%, and the more you make dishes, the better you'll get in making them. Now, I know you'll be tempted to use high-quality ingredients from the start, However, I want you to know that although you can do whatever you want, if you use the high quality ingredients on a dish that you have like a 4% skill level on, it's not going to get you an automatic high score. You will not get a perfect 30 points by doing that. The general consensus is that you use low quality ingredients until you reach skill level 60, medium until 80, and then use high from then there on. I would recommend trying to stick to this, however, given the event time frame and the random ingredient drops, don't feel bad if you can't adhere to this all the time. The most important thing is you knowing how this works so you don't get your hopes up. Once you've made a dish, it's time for it to get judged. There's a lot of factors that go into your final score. Some of it you can control, some of it not. So I'm going to try and make this as thorough but easy to digest as possible. The factors that come into scores are your skill level, the judges, and ingredient quality. We've already talked about skill level, so let's talk about judges. There will be a panel of three judges. They will be randomized from a pool, and each has their own standards on which they'll score you. There's three types of judges, strict, fair, and lenient. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Strict judges give lower scores than lenient ones. Judges will give you a score of 1 to 10, 1 being awful, 10 is great. They take into account ingredient quality and skill level and judge according to their mindsets. Let's say you have a 98% and you don't have all high quality ingredients in a dish. You have one or two medium ones. Strict judges are probably going to take that into consideration, but the lenient ones probably won't. When you get your score, you also get some special items to spend in the event shop. They're called Culinary Crucible Tokens. There's various items in the event shop, but most important in my opinion is the special event SR key. It will cost 184 tokens, or around that much. That's how much it cost last time, so I guess the price would stay the same. 
There's various other items as well, so make sure to check it out and snatch anything that catches your eye. Just make sure that you spend all your tokens during the event because they do not carry over. If you don't spend them, you lose them. I'm pretty excited for this event and I hope you guys are too. I love the Lilia vignette, but admittedly I'm more excited because this means for one more Culinary Crucible event uh, closer to Malleus's card. And <laughs> oh, I, I just love Malleus, what can I say? And with that, I will see y'all later. Bye!